is underway. The opening kickoff, Central Arkansas kicking it off to the Rainbow Warriors and fair catch called by Victor at the two-yard line. Hawaii will take over familiar shotgun formation, Cole McDonald. He looks to throw. First goes right, goes back to the left side. Jared Smart across the 30 to the 40 and continues to carry a defender across the 45-yard line. Third and one at the Bears' 44-yard line. They give it to Reed again, and he got it. It'll be first down. Hawaii expanding on those numbers tonight. Second and one. McDonald gives to Reed. Reed coughs it up. Never had control of it, and they turn it over. It's the 12th turnover of the season. Hanging on to the football, especially at that running back position, but you're going to see right here, the mesh is a little bit, again, sloppy, and that's because Cole McDonald's 6'4". He's got to get that ball down. That road loss to the Huskies last week. The second and short. They run again, and Braylon Smith gives it to Carlos Blackman from the 43-yard line. Brandon Smith shovel inside and they get to midfield but short of the first down and do the running again is Carlos Blackman can they capitalize on the fumble by Reed Smith pass incomplete picked off Kai Kanashiro his second of the season touchdown Hawaii 55 yards the nickelback, Kai Kanashiro. Good things happen around the football. See the speed of the St. Louis Crusader. Really nice coverage. And then Kai Kanashiro with his second INT. The ball's thrown low and outside. And a good throw. Kai Kanashiro, the right man in the right place. He gets the good hop, lands in his hands. 12-yard line for UCA. They play action. Fake the give to Blackman. Braylon Smith throws it, completes it. Hawaii leading 7-0. Play clock down to one. Smith gets it. He gets thrust out of the pocket. He tried to shovel pass. Incomplete. He took a shot. So the punt here, back to receive is smart. He gets pushed back to the 35-yard line. And he fumbled it, but Johnny on the spot to go down and get it for touchdown by Kai Kanashiro. Cole McDonald has time, gets hit as he lets it fly, but it's caught by Jojo Ward near midfield. Down. It's put at the 48-yard line. Cole McDonald looking deep. He's out. He's gone. Across midfield, using his feet, his legs, out of bounds, near the 30-yard line. It's the healthiest run this season by Cole McDonald. 21 year yards. But even at 6'4", 220 pounds, he's not only showing you the ability to extend plays, but he is a weapon. It's trips right side, double to the left. Cole McDonald has time and a crossing pattern, and he lets it fly, caught by Smart inside the 20-yard line. Looked like Smart almost kept his balance, and she showed great athleticism decision-making. Cole McDonald to throw again, and the catch is made. By the guy we talked about at the start of the game. He may sit in those offensive meetings with Craig Stutzman and Brian Smith and Nick Rolovich because he picked this young man to be the player of the game. Pseudo tight end to the right side for Hawaii. Cole McDonald has time looking to throw. Caught. Touchdown. JoJo Ward. But the strength of this young man, watch him set the defensive back outside, open his hips, and then he's not the first receiver. He's not the second receiver. Uh, Brandon Smith gets it. Hawaii brings some heat, pressure to Smith, and he overthrew Winningham again. And back to return, standing at the 34-yard line, is Jared Smart. You heard the oohs and ahs. Hawaii almost got to it. There should be a flag here, but there was contact made after Jared Smart made the fair catch call, a punt of 33 yards. That net's going to look ugly on paper. Thought we was coming to a gun show. <laughs> See those arms? 38 specials. 18 seconds left in the first quarter, and on first and five, Fred Holly may have gotten 11. Incomplete's a positive thing. So Cole McDonald put it in the belly of Fred Holly and took it back out 
went left side, got to the 16-yard line. Oh, defensive. Watch the left side of this line. You'll see the lineman pull out in front of Cole. Nice job of getting that little block. Look at the hole. Robert, I think you might have been able to run through that one. McDonald, 7 of 8, 72 yards. It's first and 10 from the 16. He goes left side. Smart again. And he runs right through some would-be tacklers and gets it into the end zone for the first time as a Rainbow Warrior. See bag drills and you wonder why do athletes do step overs on bag drills? Watch this right here. Look at the high knees, the acceleration, the strength of his legs. The Bears again show almost a pistol look running back directly behind Braylon Smith. This time it's the quick release and the quick let go breaks a tackle and gets a great downfield block. A nice job in the back end. So Pumbo Williams up front into the game. Quick release by Smith. A completed pass at midfield to Luan Winningham. It's Sunia is in at right guard. Comedano play action delivers it to Jojo Ward. First down, Hawaii. Again, we have Scott Robbs, third member of our broadcast team. Surprised that he's that wide open. A prolific receiver you're leaving wide open. Again, quickly, McDonald gets rid of it to Smart. And Smart gets just short of the 20-yard line. Another first down for Hawaii. Should have given it on the RPO. A pickup of eight. Second and two from the 13. Go McDonald! To Cedric Bird! Touchdown, number six for Bird. 13 yards, RPO, and Hawaii just showing the rhythm continuously in the second quarter. It's the inside backer right now does not get enough depth. There's too many receivers. They got trips to the right side. Lead 28-0 against Central Arkansas. Play action, Smith, right side, dumped it off across the 45-yard line. Is that a tight end play? The third and 10 from their own 49, 617 left in the first half. They run the ball, and Carlos Blackman is wide open across the 20 inside the 10 yard line on third and 10. Gash. Defensive film room is Donovan Dalton, number 29, because they did a nice job of blocking this run, but the safety did not come to balance. He did not break down. He has to make that tackle in the open field. Guru type, mad scientists. Oh, Lincoln Riley. Oh, how about that play up front for Hawaii? 55 bear hugs you. There's no place to go. Wow, he's just showing. Again, third and goal from the four-yard line. 4-18 left in the opening half. Direct snap again to Blackman. Dumped it off and barely got in. He completes the pass. And I think there were three options, Robert. I think he also had the jump pass option to the tight end. He also had the ability to run. And that third option was the flat ball that he threw. And the ball looked like it did break the plane. A whole bunch of different outposts on the West Coast. So Cole McDonald has time, tries to go over the top looking for Jojo Ward. And Smith in shotgun, a shovel pass to Blackman across the 40 and runs over a would-be tackler, Donovan Dalton, right at midfield. Underneath Tampa play, really well-designed, well-blocked, but that young man. 28-6 to Hawaii, and after all of that, they run inside zone to Carlos Black. In the second half, he had to sit out this first half. I think that really hurt Hawaii. So they go again on a run play, a third and long. For Central Arkansas, punts. Hawaii went after it. And what? Hang time. And a fumble on the punt reception. And it looks like the Bears recovered at the 10-yard line. And the CS team. That's respect for Hawaii's FBS. offense. The Jets are first and goal now for the 10-yard line. Brady Smith. Hit. Backside. Kaimana Podello. The ball from the carpet. And the Bears recover. So how tall is the left tackle? In this particular case, Kaimana Podello actually is using the bull rush technique. He has his hands inside it. The power on that play. He went straight bull rush on it. Braylon Smith, right side. Carlos Blackman drops it. He was open. Nobody around him. 35-yarder, Robert. 
So up here, this guy's not missed this season. Hayden Ray. In the field goal department, he's now five for five. They checked off and looked to the sideline for a play change. Quick play action, quick hitch. Braylon Smith to the left side. A completed pass. And making the catch there is Michael Fox, a 5'11", 180-pound freshman. So on first down, they give it on a run play to Miles Reed. He turns the corner and gets to near the 40-yard line. Murphy's bar and grill and pictures, plus there's some marketing going on as well. Coleman down at over four and throwing the ball. Finally, a completion across midfield. Jared Smart at the first down. He's inside the Bears' 45-yard line. McDonald stays in that pocket. He's going to take a shot, and you're going to see a deep dig route. It's a build-up route by the X receiver off the switch route. 12, 14, 15, coming back. He got the start as a true freshman last season, along with Solo by Pulu. Cole McDonald, looking deep, has a receiver to the outside, under through it, and it's picked off. It's picked off in the end zone. He wanted to. He couldn't have tried to run it back. And it goes back to what Steven Sai said in the pregame in terms of, and then not getting it out to the wide receivers, and I think that's Cortez Davis and Will Ferris are playing well on the outside. So across the middle, Brandon Smith was looking for Jawan Winningham was stellar. Superb. In, today, in today's college football, it'll be a flag against Hawaii. Running into the kicker. Might be roughing the kicker. I think he got rough. The leg was extended. 37-yard line. 10.06 left in the third quarter. Bears run up the gut. Carlos Blackman. He's acting like he's still up and going and still alive. He got spun around. He may have landed on a player. Smith has an H-back in the backfield with he and Blackman. He's looking to throw. It's max protection. That play broken up by Derek Thomas. You got three quarterbacks on your offensive staff. You're going yeah, for this. Job. The fourth and five from the 30. Braylon Smith gets pressure from the left side. His pass is deflected. Pumps got. Again. Now it's third down here and five. Cole McDonald looking to his right side. Completed pass. First down, Hawaii to Cedric Bird. First and 10 from the 42-yard line. McDonald, left side, completed pass. To Sharp, and he crosses the 40. They were more afraid of with the shovel pass. On first and 20, Cole Brennan, at when he did it, they threw the shuffle. This time, Cole McDonald standing in the pocket. And all the time in the world. On the defensive lineman, 6-1, doing a nice job on that stunt in terms of applying the pressure inside, but it's the defensive tackle. He's also become only the eighth quarterback as he completed to Sharsh here to the right side. He gets across to the 45-yard line. Only the eighth quarterback in UH football history to surpass 5,000 yards passing. We have the FCS level, number one coming in with six touchdowns, number two coming in with 477 yards receiving. That's Winningham. On second down. So quick. And getting Beckley back from that missing the game last week, second half. Brady Smith to Winningham again in the backfield. And look at that. There's five, six green jerseys. Yeah, and you know what? Again, Kaimata Padello, the left end, forced the offensive tackle in the way of the fly sweep motion. Absolutely <laughs> disrupted it. I mean, he's bull rush again to get a guy up front. Pushed back into the backfield. That pass play there, Raylan Smith completes it. That big afro was so off. So on second down here, what an excellent bounce move by Carlos Blackman. There was nothing there. A pickup of eight on first down. Much better than what they've been averaging in this game. Blackman, again, second effort, runs through would-be arm tackles and gets more positive yards. Cornerbacks for Hawaii. Tenth play of this drive. They give to Blackman left side. And again, extra effort. Touchdown, Blackman. It's a missed tackle. He ran right through it, put a spin move on, and got to the corner of the end zone. But again, too many missed tackles. Big holes. Good job blocking on the offensive line. But again, guys going low, but not wrapping up. It's a touchdown. It's a touchdown. 
Ensuing kickoff here again is 28 16. And back to receive it at the 10 yard line. Across the 25 to the 30 yard line. And a great cutback move by Lincoln Victor. Position on this football team. Pritchard is out with injury for Vihi. And a big run here. Miles Reed to the 40 yard line. Spin moves. He coughs off the football. It's fumbled. And the officials are calling it down. It came out. There's an unbelievable spin move. It gets hit. That ball looks loose. I think that ball is out. If the whistle was blown, though, would, a 19 yard pickup. I would call a timeout. If let, I'm. Let them review it. Yeah, if I'm the Bears. The ball's clearly out. The ruling on the field, but down by rule is being reviewed. Previous play is under further review. See the spin move, Robert? And then the ball is not secured with that four or five, six points of pressure. It's at the 44-yard line, second and one. Play action down the field. There's Winningham again. Hello. Hello, Stadium. He wasn't happy about that play. It sets up third and 15. Braylon Smith, play action left side. Flushed out. Not a good pass. Intended for Christian Richmond. By the defense. Gain of seven sets up second and three. They run right side to Freddie Holly. Across the 21 yard line. He's a real high graduate. You gotta love it. So Cole McDonald, the fake give to Holly inside. And a slant to Bird. First down, Hawaii. A very coconut, lemon, lime, something like that. Cole McDonald looking right side. And this time he connects with Bird at the 40 yard line. And he tries to advance it, does smart. Thought it was a fumble recovery. It's the first time Hawaii's going for it tonight on fourth down. They run to the left side, and Fred Holly gets it. So this season on fourth down, Hawaii's down nine to ten. Hawaii at their own 48 yard line. McDonald looking left side, Jared Smart. First down inside the 35. As a team, Central Arkansas at 143. Cole McDonald, left side, underneath stuff again. And guess who that is? And what effort by Victor. That was a big time collision at the 15 yard line. And he bounced off it like it was nothing. Confidence in the return game and really getting a lot of reps as the slot receiver. And I think that's Rob Stinken. It's now at the 11 yard line. Cole McDonald. Looking in zone, dumped it off. Lincoln Victor, five yard line. Lincoln Victor, second effort, get into the end zone. This is going to be reviewed too, Robert, because the ball gets popped out, but you got to appreciate the strength of that young man. And if it's in the end zone, that's his first in the uniform. So earlier tonight, Jared Smart got his first touchdown as a Rainbow Warrior. And now Lincoln Victor, once he stretches it across the goal line, it doesn't matter. What happens afterward? He has control. Touch clearly. Down. Gets it across. That's his 10th game of his career of 300 or more yards. 326 left in the game. Hawaii ahead 35 16. An excellent return for the Bears. Doing work on that return. And Cameron Myers. 124 left in the game. Third and eight from the 47. Smith. Tries to take the top off of it. Oh, I disagree with the call. Absolutely disagree with the call. Boys committed four turnovers. It's epidemic. That needs to be addressed. Brandon Smith to Blackman. And taking down hard. 45 seconds left. Blitz on the right side. Put pressure on Smith. He had to dump it and get rid of it. It's complete, but the clock continues. You, Robert, Robert, they'll be hopping. It's great to win and make sure. this many mistakes because they're going to be teaching that up and doing, uh, especially at the running back position. Robert, I'm not sure they had four or five Time fumbles out. all season. Central last Arkansas, year. last of the half, 30 seconds in length. The eight letter word for 85 points in Scrabble. Braden Smith had pressure oh, what and what a play. He had a receiver who got a step, but coming up. It's the Mountain West Conference 
2019. Cole McDonald threw for 300 yards, four touchdowns, had the one interception. What do you take away from this game tonight? 25 of 32. What I take away is Hawaii did not play well offensively in the third quarter. They didn't force the ball down the field, and sometimes that's a good thing.